Hello and welcome to the first part in the AWS S3 command line interface course for beginners. My name is Peter Fisher. I'm the host of the How to Code Well YouTube channel, and we're going to be discussing the S3 command line. This is a very basic course. Today, what we're going to be doing is focusing on the very basics of creating buckets, listing buckets, and removing buckets as well. Now, if you haven't done so already, please do download the asset files for this because I've got descriptions on all of the commands that we're going to be using today. Links are in the, de in the description below. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be listing our S3 buckets. So let's go ahead and do that. AWS is what we need. That is the command that we wish to, to call. That is the command line interface that we're using. Now we need to supply the service that we are going to be acting upon in the AWS ecosystem. In this case, it is S3. So put in S3 like so. Next, we need to have another space and we need to actually supply the command that we wish to act upon this service, this S3 service. Let's do LS like so. That is going to list all of the buckets that we have within this uh, group, this, this access list that we have control of. Here we can see that there is a bucket how to code well hyphen test. And I created that earlier on today at uh, 1119 this morning. Let's go ahead now and create another bucket. So I'm going to do AWS S3. And in order to create a bucket, what we need to do is supply the MB command. MB meaning make bucket. So MB. And we're going to do how to code. Whoops. How to code. Well, hyphen test hyphen A. Now, if I press enter here, we're going to get an error. And that error is all about the URI that we're supplying to make this bucket. So if I press enter here, we can see that we have an S3 URI error. And that is because these buckets need to be prefixed with the URI of S3 colon uh, forward slash forward slash like so. Let's press up on the keyboard, go over here, right to the start. So it's S3 colon and then forward slash forward slash like so. Press enter and you should be able to create that bucket. Now, a point that I want to make on buckets, the names of these buckets should be unique. They are unique. So you're not going to be able to create these buckets because you'll be out, you'll need to create your own bucket. So come up with the terminology or the bucket names or the conventions that you wish to use. Okay. So now I should be able to list both buckets. If I did up on the keyboard a few times with AWS S3 LS, we should now see that we have two buckets created. And throughout this course, I'm going to be demonstrating how we can actually list the contents within the bucket, but doing so in a very clever way, which allows you to exclude and include certain things in the filtered result set that comes back. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the buckets. So what I'm going to do in this case is just type AWS S3, because that is the service that we wish to use. But in this case, the command that we're going to be supplying is RB. RB is remove bucket. And we need to supply the bucket name that we wish to remove. And again, we can't just simply supply just the name. We also need to supply the URI. I'll demonstrate why in just a second. Let's just type out how to code well hyphen test hyphen A. Press enter here. And again, we have this S3 URI error, which means that what we need to do is we need to supply the prefix like before, which is S3 colon forward slash forward slash press enter. And that will be removed. Let's go ahead and list this out and see if that has actually been removed. And here we can see that it has. So this is the first part in this course. Next up, we're going to be looking at all sorts of different things in AWS, including file uploads. So do check that out and do follow along. Thanks again for watching. Happy coding, everyone. Cheers. Bye.